Dentistry is one of the most high-risk professions in relation to COVID-19. In the unlikely event of providing dental care during the outbreak, dental professionals must take necessary steps to protect themselves and the public. If adequate precautions are not taken, the dental office can potentially expose dental professionals and their patients to cross-contamination. To minimize risk, following COVID-19 specific recommendations based on scientific research are suggested, telescreening and triaging. Undertake initial screening via telephone to identify patients with suspected or possible COVID-19 infection. Engage the severity of the dental condition to make an informed clinical decision to either provide or defer treatment. Patient arrival and evaluation. Measure the patient's body temperature using a non-contact forehead thermometer or with cameras having infrared thermal sensors on arrival at the dental office. Patients who present with a fever of more than 38 degrees Celsius and or respiratory disease symptoms should have elective dental care deferred for at least two weeks. Patients should be seated in adherence to social distancing guidelines. They should be required to wear a surgical mask and follow proper respiratory hygiene, such as covering the mouth and nose with a tissue before coughing and sneezing and then discarding the tissue. Ask patients to complete a detailed medical history form COVID-19 screen questionnaire and an assessment of true emergency questionnaire. Based on the information provided, dentists should make a clinical decision whether to treat a patient or defer treatment based in line with issued guidelines. Airborne infection isolation rooms. Patients with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 infection should not be treated in a routine dental practice setting. Instead, this subset of patients should only be treated in airborne infection isolation rooms. Disinfection of inanimate surfaces. SARS-CoV-2 can remain viable in aerosol and survive up to three days on inanimate surfaces at room temperature with a greater preference for humid conditions. Therefore, dental staff should make sure to disinfect inanimate surfaces using chemicals approved for COVID-19 and maintain a dry environment to curb the spread of SARS-CoV-2. Personal protective equipment. Dental professionals should follow standard contact and airborne precautions, including the appropriate use of personal protective equipment and hand hygiene practice. They should follow the recommended sequence of putting on and removing personal protective equipment and adhere to guidelines for N95 respirator use and reuse. Pre-procedural mouth rinse. Previous studies have shown that SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV were highly susceptible to provodone mouth rinse. Therefore, ask patients to do a pre-procedural mouth rinse with 0.2% provodone iodine as it might reduce the load of coronaviruses in saliva. Another alternative would be to use 0.5 to 1% hydrogen peroxide mouth rinse as it has non-specific virucidal activity against coronaviruses. Rubber dam. Using a rubber dam will help minimize splatter generation. It may also be advantageous to place the rubber dam so that it covers the patient's nose. Saliva ejectors. A four-handed technique together with low or high volume saliva ejectors can reduce the production of droplets and aerosols. Imaging. Extraoral imaging such as panoramic radiology or cone beam computed tomographic imaging should be used to avoid gag or cough reflex that may occur with intraoral imaging. When intraoral imaging is mandated, sensors should be double barriered to prevent perforation and cross-contamination. Instruments. To reduce the risk of generating contaminated aerosols, dental professionals should minimize the use of ultrasonic instruments, high-speed handpieces, and three-way syringes to reduce the risk of generating contaminated aerosols. Saliva is a major source of SARS-CoV-2, particularly in asymptomatic patients. Therefore, dentists should use of single-use instruments such as probes, mouth mirrors, syringes, etc. They reduce the risk of cross-infection and are more cost-effective when hidden costs of reusable instruments are considered. Secure Inject is a single-use safety syringe for dental anesthesia. It has received multiple awards for its innovative design to prevent cross infections and needle stick injuries. In the event of treating high-risk COVID-19 patients, it is highly recommended that dentists use Secure Inject syringes. For further information about Secure Inject syringes, visit www.
www.forsa-healthcare.com. Think safety. Think Secure Inject.